Her hair and beauty routine may have a few deviations, such as Princess Anne's red lipstick, but the hard-working royal's hairstyle choices rarely change. Styled by her stylist, Dawn Murphy, her do is synonymous with Princess and is a must-have for anyone who plays Anna in any series about the royal family. Hello and welcome to Royal Insider. If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our royal updates. Of course, the series that has received the most attention recently is The Crown. It is interesting that the princess has previously spoken about the series in connection with her hairstyle. Erin Doherty, who plays teenage princess and in the hit series, claims the hair and makeup department spent up to two hours recreating the look. The demand was too much for the Princess Royal, who responded in an ITV documentary marking her 70th birthday. People, opens a new tab, reported in 2020 that and was surprised by the announcement. I actually read an article the other day, she says, about not watching Netflix and The Crown, but this actress was talking about how long it took them to do their hair like mine. I thought, she added, how could it take so long? I thought it would take me 10 or 15 minutes. Although it may seem like a fairly minor job, the royal family, who are part of the princess's inner circle, fully appreciate it if it takes this long. In fact, as well as thanking Dawn this year, her lady-in-waiting Margaret Hammond was also recognized for her work. Margaret was promoted to commander of the Royal Victorian Order in the King's New Year's Honors List. The Royal Victoria Order is awarded to individuals who have rendered outstanding sovereign service. According to the Royal Family website, opens in a new tab, Margaret was one of Princess Anne's 11 Maids of Honor. She was accompanied to the official events by one of the women who worked for the Princess for many years. According to the website, two of them have worked for HRH for more than 50 years, three for more than 40 years and five for more than 30 years. Needless to say, they have been honored before, including in 2020 when Leonora, Countess of Lichfield, Aramin Teresai, and Jane Holderness Rodan were also made commanders of the Royal Victorian Order.